Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, your go-to place for Linux, DevOps and Kubernetes tutorials. In this video, we are going to show you how to install Ansible AWX on Kubernetes cluster, the open source version of Ansible Tower by Red Hat. By the end of this video, you will have a fully functional AWX instance up and running inside your Kubernetes environment. Let's get started. Before we jump into the installation, let's quickly understand what AWX is. AWX is the upstream and open source project for Red Hat and Civil Tower. It provides web-based UI, REST API, and the task engine to manage your Ansible playbooks and infrastructure automation. It helps the team to manage inventory, credentials, and jobs, all from the one centralized dashboard. And best of all, it's free and open source. To follow along, make sure you have following items ready. A running Kubernetes cluster, could be a mini cube, production grade cluster like Kube ADM, AKS, EKS, and GKE. You must have kubectl configured and working. Helm v3 installed and persistent volume support. For the interest of time, I have already prepared a set of YAML files and the commands that I will use during this video. I will post these files and the commands in the description for your reference. Let's begin the installation process. First step is to add AWX operator. First, we need to add the Helm wrap of AWX operator, and then we will use Helm install to install this AWX operator. In the Google search Ansible AWX operator, click on this GitHub link. It will take us to this page. And we will be using this Helm based installation. So click on the second link. It will take us to this page. You can copy this command and paste it here. Next, install this AWX operator using the helm install command. In this command, we are creating a namespace AWX. Under this namespace, we are installing Ansible AWX operator. Hit enter. Now verify the AWX operator status and run the command helm list AWX. You can see that Ansible AWX operator is installed under this namespace AWX. Similarly, you can verify the ports in AWX namespace. For that, run the command kubectl space get space ports space hyphen n followed by the namespace. In our case, namespace is AWX. Hit enter. You can see AWX operator is up and running. As of now, it is using two replicas. In next step, we need to create a storage class, persistent volume, and then we will deploy AWX. And why we need a storage class and a persistent volume? As AWX will use Postgre as a stateful set, and stateful set needs persistent volume. So let's create a storage class. I have already prepared a YAML file for the storage class. So the storage class name is local hyphen storage and it would be created under the namespace AWX. Provisioner is no provisioner. In order to create the storage class, let's apply this file. And the command kubectl apply hyphen f and then the YAML file name. Hit enter. You should see a storage class created under the namespace AWX. The output confirms that storage class has been created successfully. Next, create a persistent volume. For that persistent volume, I have created this AWX-PV.YAML file. In this file, I am using a persistent volume name as Postgres-PV. It would be created under the namespace AWX. The capacity is 10 GB. Access mode is read write once. And persistent volume claim policy is retained. It will use the storage class name as local hyphen storage. And we will be using a host path. And this path is on the worker node. We need to make sure that this mnt slash storage folder exists on the worker nodes. If it is not there, you should create it. 
So this is my worker node. If I do ls hyphen ld mnt and then storage, I can see in my case on the worker node this folder is there. All right. Moving back to the control plane. Now apply this file in order to create this persistent volume. Run the command kubectl apply hyphen f awx hyphen pv dot yaml file. Now verify whether the persistent volume is created or not. Run the command kubectl get pv hyphen n and the namespace awx. Great. I can see this persistent volume of size 10 GB with access mode RO is available. Now that the operator storage and persistent volume are installed, let's create the AWS custom resource that defines your AWS deployment. Create a YAML file with the name ansible-awx.yaml. In this YAML file, as you can see, the kind is AWX, name is ansible-awx. It would be installed under the namespace AWX. Service type is node port and the post grade storage class is local hyphen storage. Now deploy the AWX instance using this file. Run the command kubectl apply hyphen f ansible hyphen awx.yml. Hit enter. Output confirms that it has been applied and created successfully. Wait for a couple of minutes and monitor the status of ports, operator and the service in AWS namespace. For that, you can run the command kubectl get ports hyphen n AWX hyphen W. Great, the output confirms that it has completed a job with the name Ansible AWS migration. It has started a post report and the status is running. It has also started AWX hyphen task with four replica account and the status is running. Similarly with AWX web with the replica account three and status is up and running. Now let's verify service status as well. All right, this output confirms that it has started all the ports. It has exposed the deployment like Ansible AWX Postgre using the cluster IP. It has exposed this AWX hyphen service with the type node port. This is the node port. We will be using this node port in order to access this Ansible uh, AWX GUI. Similarly, the stateful set for this Ansible AWX Postgre is up and running. All right, if everything looks good, you can now access the AWX web interface via the IP address of control plane or the worker node. Let me get the IP address of my control plane using the command IP space add space show. This is the IP address of my control plane. And this is the node port for my AWX web. Open the browser. Type the IP here. 192.168.35 colon port number. So when we install AWX, it automatically create a user admin and its password. In order to get the admin user's password, we need to run a command. So go back to the control plane CLI part. First, run this command. This is a secret where the admin user password is stored. Now, in order to extract the password, copy this password, head back to the web browser. In the username field, type admin and paste the password that you have just copied and click on login. Once you logged in, you will see the Ansible AWX dashboard where you can add inventories, create credentials and manage and create jobs. 
One important thing, do not forget to configure the persistent backups and external database storage for the production deployments. You can also integrate with the Git repos, Vault for Secrets and more advanced features in AWX. That's all from this video tutorial. I hope you are able to deploy Ansible AWX on your Kubernetes cluster smoothly. With this powerful tool, you can automate and manage your infrastructure like a pro using a beautiful web UI. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, subscribe for more DevOps and Linux tutorials. Drop a comment if you want a video on configuring AWS projects, inventory and job templates. See you in the next one. Bye.